Affinity chromatography is a powerful technique to purify a specific molecule from a more complex mixture. There are various different chromatographic methods. In general, chromatographic assays allow for the separation of molecules. Before discussing affinity chromatography, I have seen that over 95% of all viewers have not subscribed yet. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your support. Affinity chromatography is based on specific macromolecular binding interactions between two biomolecules. This can be antigen-antibody interactions or receptor-ligand interactions, but also the binding affinity of an enzyme for its substrate. In this example, the solution contains different proteins. But only the green one is the protein to be isolated, the protein of interest. It is important to know a strong interaction partner of this specific molecule. If the protein of interest is a ligand, the respective receptor has to be used to catch the target protein. That receptor with a strong affinity for our protein of interest is immobilized or attached to the insoluble matrix as shown here forming the so-called solid phase. In the first step, the mixture, also known as the mobile phase, is loaded onto the column. That results in the separation step. Biomolecules with no affinity for the receptor will travel through the column and only the target protein will remain bound to its interaction partner. In other words, bound to the stationary phase, because of the target protein's stable interaction with the receptor. A wash step removes all other non-target biomolecules. The elution buffer is now used for the detachment of the protein of interest. Finally, the target protein has been successfully separated from the other biomolecules and can be collected. If you would like to see a filmed version of an affinity chromatography experiment, I highly recommend to check out this video here. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like if this video has helped you out. Thanks for all your support.